Welcome back to another edition of The Gentleman's Den. Yeah. I'm Sean. To my left is Frankie. And to my right, as always, is Jeff. Gentlemen, how the hell are we today? <laughs> I'm feeling great. I Good. feel like every time the intro starts, me and this guy get in a poke and battle. Yeah, you guys, you guys start giving each other hand jabs. <laughs> no. He gets like the snake and he starts just going. Not, not jobs, jabs, as in punches. Jobs. Hand jabs. Hand jabs. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Hand, hand jabs. Hand jabs. <laughs> These are on sale. They're a dollar ninety nine. So what's up, fuckers? <laughs> Boy, <laughs> beginning of football season, boys. <laughs> Ooh, should have started. I was a so better. excited for football. Me too. Until my beloved Bears shit the bed. <sighs> Bears so Packers bad. hundred year anniversary. Such a bad game. Uh, good. So much defense. Packer fans are just coming out of the woodwork. My God, insanity. So insanity wise, we got Adrian Amos now. He's the best bear there was. <laughs> Uh, no, I was a fucking. You won the game. That game, the, the, that game was so fucking bad to watch. Probably even for a Packers fan, that game was fucking horrible to watch. Yeah, there was nothing football. going on. There was not on. one Packer. There was fan. one drive, and that was it. There was not one Packer fan that said to me, "Yo, that game was fucking awesome." <laughs> right? <laughs> not one. I'm sure they're happy that they won, but that game was fucking trash. Yeah, the Hot whole garbage. Thing. I mean, offense on both sides it was bad. What do you call what do you call Mitch now? What is he? Huh? First what? read or run. First read or run, Mitch. First read or run. That's all he does. He looks at the first read, he I either throws it now. into triple coverage or he runs. It was pretty bad. I didn't like Mitch since they drafted him, but whatever. Jeff has been anti Mitch. He can I can attest when we drafted him, Mitch Mitch was not the uh, highlight of Jeff's day. No, no, very upset. I was. I didn't mind the pick. I just was really upset. We traded up for him. I, we could have just took him where we were at three. Everything would have been good. There was other guys even too that are yeah, Gase, really. Gase well, now it's even worse because you got Mahomes as an MVP lighting it up. Right. I mean Watson. Watson looks good. Like we had our pick of <sighs> all three either of them. one, but Watson. Whatever. Watson's gonna win the MVP this year because of Laramie Tunsil. Maybe that it might have something to do with DeAndre Hopkins too. Well, but. no, but what I'm saying is because he was the <laughs> one of the most sacked quarterbacks last year. Right? No, yeah. And when you but put he also was a scrambler, in, he a lot of those he puts himself in that position sometimes. No, a lot of them were straight up blasting through his <laughs> tackle and smoking him. Yeah, but he does have a good receiving core. They got Kenny Stills now too. They got they're Will they, Fuller and stacked, the best receiver. receiver. Yeah, I'm excited, guys. Yeah, I'm excited for football. football. Oh man, I just wish that it's that American it tradition. Better. When is the Super Bowl going to be a fucking holiday? It should be because I'm tired of going to work. Well, this <laughs> fuck over. <laughs> yeah, they, they need to have like February third. They need to have Super Bowl Monday. <laughs> right, it's going to have to be. I mean, or maybe the Super Bowl could just change to Saturday night and be like, no, the thing. I know. I think so. Why not? Make Friday night the party night. Before I think. The Super I mean, Bowl dude, and... they have two weeks off anyway, right before the Super Bowl. So why not play it on Saturday? That'd be right. fucking awesome. Right. I, I agree, but the problem is, is it's the NFL. We make all of our money on Sunday. This is true because Sunday. Yeah, is but if it's still, I mean, what game. else is on the Grammys on Saturday? Stop it. Some Oscars. Stop it. Given handing out awards. No, those are all on Sunday. Did you see Sean fight back that yawn so I didn't, hard. I didn't want to yawn on <laughs> your <mic>. face. <laughs> I didn't want to yawn on the mic. How <laughs> dare you, party foul? <sighs> so let's uh, let's get into the journey you guys went on. Is Sean still recovering? <laughs> I think. Uh, How'd your interdimensional space travel? It was great. I was yeah. good. I couldn't have formed a sentence, <laughs> but I was good. <laughs> I was completely fucking annihilated. So, so I've taken ten milligram edibles before. And I felt fine. I was fucking well, not fine. <laughs> I mean, that was that was fine. I didn't need to take any. That was fine. I was blasted. I wasn't fine. That was fine. We were sitting watching the Bears game, and I was just doing the voices for all the commentary <laughs> people at halftime. I was so blasted. And these guys pull out a hundred milligram yeah. edibles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bit the head off that gummy bear last night. Yeah. I was there was no motor functions, <laughs> couldn't move. I remember at one time I was leaning right on the couch and I'm like, 
I don't like this anymore. I want to move. <laughs> so I switched and I went to the left side. Then I was like, it's a whole other world. See, now you here. know how I felt when I went to the movie theaters. <laughs> I, I was honestly, so baked. We went to go see Alice in Wonderland 3D. 3D. I was sweating. <laughs> Everyone's watching me. I'm leaning against the counter. I got my my thing of popcorn. You were yeah, my one drink of you first. You were. You were. I was in so rough fucking shape. Blasted. Well, he was the first one in line. He got his popcorn. Got his drink. He was like, "I'm going first because I need to go." Right, because he was so tweaking. But then he got all his stuff and realized I gotta wait for everyone else. So then he's just standing there holding. I'm like, "What is Sean look. getting?" <laughs> Please hurry up. I need to sit down. I got popcorn and nachos. I was sweating. Lot, same thing at Frankie. Every got, time. Same Every thing time that's what I get. And then uh. I went in some time warp where you were fucking in slow motion. <laughs> I'm like, I no, was well, like, no, well, Sean, well, don't get butter on your popcorn. It's it, going to take longer. Let's go. In all honesty, <laughs> in all honesty, that day, the amount of weed that was smoked bro was was pretty astronomical especially because it's a five minute ride i think it took like 20 minutes in the parking lot to finish everything oh it kicked in as soon as my food came and then i had to go lean on the <laughs> counter sweating my balls <laughs> off just watching you guys with my eyes barely open god i need to sit down <laughs> and, <laughs> and we all pretty much agreed that that movie was hot trash yeah until, until, until the, the end. end until the fucking end until the goddamn credits. It was spiritual. Yeah, then all the colors started changing, yeah. and there was, like, Everything, mushrooms. Yeah. That was, I would have watched three hours of that. <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing because I remember because we were all sitting there just mouths wide open, just, <laughs> oh. <laughs> that that oh. reminds me, we were in the movie one time. Tron. Tron. Me and Jeff went to see it. We were pretty fucked up. We were like, Tron's coming out. Like, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> I was pumped. And it was packed, so we kind of had to sit in the front. Well, it's crazy. Well, so they we hyped got, the shit out of that. There was a too. line for it, and this Dude. girl is dressed up like one of the characters in line. By her, she's going to see it by herself, dressed up in character. That's insane. Dude, it, people were into it. So we're sitting, like, it's filled. We're sitting towards, like, the front, like, right in the front. And the only thing is, like, the separated front, front area where there's, like, four or five rows. Yeah. Just one dude sitting in that row. Like one dude by himself, pervert row, looking straight up. Just those are the worst fucking seats. I saw in Glorious <laughs> Bastards like that, and I had to read subtitles. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, read the whole screen. Heads going back and forth. <laughs> I had a sore neck by the end of this <laughs> fucking movie. Well, we got to like the end where like the big ass fucking sh- base something amazing ship. happened, and it was cool as fuck. Like yeah. I watched it, and to myself, I was like, damn, that was dope. <clears throat> Not this guy. Oh, this guy's mind. We witnessed someone's mind being <laughs> blown out of his skull. So this big action part happens, and it gets really quiet afterwards. And all we hear is this guy in front of us go, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> the whole fucking movie theater busted the out whole, laughing. Yeah. Everyone's just <laughs> dying laughing just from this guy's fucking reaction. Oh, and then awesome. he picked his brains up off the floor, <laughs> put it back in his skull, mixed he, with popcorn and jujubes. He really should wear a helmet so it didn't he make a mess. Wore a fucking helmet. <laughs> he wasn't prepared. Oh. He wasn't prepared. I that fucking movie was fine. fucking trash too. Yeah, yeah, it was. Like I said, they hyped the shit out of it, and it just the v- was. visual effects were fucking awesome. But yeah. that was about yeah. it. The visual effects. Well, that was like Alice in Wonderland. The visual fucking... effects in Three Hundred were awesome too. You watch that movie now, it don't stand up. How dare you? It doesn't. <laughs> Spray painted abs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you can bro. seriously make out. Like I seen it in the theater a couple times. And then you get it on like Blu-ray, and then you can really see the spray tan abs. Yeah. You're like, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I mean, there's like, a lot of dudes in there that put in hard work and yeah. Yeah. shit, but Stop. then there's like some Could you spray tan 300 pound dude in there with abs. I'm like, ah, that don't look natural <laughs> <laughs> at all. Something's going on over there. I don't care how much spray paint you got. You can't make my stomach look like there's abs. You could. No. Yeah. With the right amount of airbrushing and shading. Be the best airbrusher in the world. In all honesty, you could probably shave them in. 
I yeah. probably could. <laughs> <laughs> I should shave in like a six pack on my belly and then just leave the bat symbol shaved into my chest. My chest. You'll there. look like you're the bat suit. I got the bat. That's a Halloween costume right there. Hell yeah. <laughs> we should put suntan lotion like where your abs should be. And then sit out in the sun for a while, and then when you wipe it off, you'll have abs. Yeah, you gotta use, but you gotta use like that SPF three million, where it's just basically a white layer of paint on your abs. Three million, three million. There, where no sun gets through. A milli, a milli. <laughs> no sun. So we were talking about the the shitty previews of movies <laughs> last week, <laughs> and I watched. We were we were joking about the joysticks game so, or movie. One of the greatest previews of all time, dude. The song, the dude wrote for the movie, <laughs> will make you want to fucking hate yourself. I can't, I can't remember. Oh, I can't remember. It was, you watched it? I I, watched <laughs> I remember this the movie. preview. And it was a super amazing video games. <laughs> but if you listen to the song, it is. <laughs> just watch. Just watch the opening scene from Joysticks, and it's just you. You. It's amazing because amazing. the song. The song is like anti and pro video games, but in the 1980s view of video games. So they're like, oh, it's melting. The the one scene the guy's walking through in a fucking priest or not a priest, like a guy dressed like Friar Tuck. Don't know what either one, but go ahead. Friar Tuck. Like you from, don't know what a priest is? <laughs> the robes, the brown robes, and like a monk. Yeah. The dude's like freaking out. Oh, my God, it's warping my mind. And he turns back around. <laughs> I can't believe this is happening. <clears throat> oh, God, help me. It is <laughs> so much horrible acting. I bet your description of it's even better than the movie. It is. <laughs> Well, The Room gets so much shit as like a bad movie. I've definitely seen worse movies than The Room. Yeah. Are you kidding me? It's pretty bad. The Room is fucking bad, but I enjoy it. But the the thing is, is Jeff and I both actually have a love for really shitty acting. Jeff actually yeah. got me onto it. It's fucking phenomenal. I it. It's <laughs> it's the, the most. Um, it's it just goes to show you that anybody in America could be an actor. Yeah. Oh, it's 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 true. If I mean, you have a dream, this is a perfect example. Anyone in the world could be a podcaster. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. You just need a microphone and the and joystick. Hun- just watch shitty movies. Yeah, joystick watch shitty movies. You just talk about it. So <laughs> this movie, the one, the one of the main antagonists of this movie is a fucking like punk dude, like eighties new wave punk, and his name is Vidiot. <laughs> Idiot with oh, a V, because all he plays is video games, so he's a idiot. <laughs> Stop it. And it's, I think one actor in the movie actually went on to do stuff, but everybody else is a fucking That was it. If you like 80s boobs, this might be the perfect movie for oh, you. Oh, those torpedo titties? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when they're kind of sagging, but then the yeah. bottom's strong as fuck. <laughs> You know those eighties tits. <laughs> Fried eggs on a nail. You know. What did I hanging. watch with the kids? I, w- I made him watch uh, Garbage Pail Kids, which is hundred percent worse than any movie ever That's made. That's fucking horrible. I remember when you made me watch it. And then slow motion like shows their names and shit. The one chick's name's fucking Tangerine. <laughs> I'm doing a drink. I'm doing a shot, boys. Come on, drink. come on. That's not how you open that bottle. There you go. Well, I like to twist and pop. You got to uh, yeah. Everyone's got their own bottle. To a long football season. To a long football season. Wait, I'm late. Come on, bro. Come on, we got to do this. Yeah, no Get shit. Other shit together. I'm always never on time. So speaking of horrible movies, well, let's do this shot quick. All right, cheers, boys. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, whiskey. Too. There's this new movie out. I don't know if it's in theaters. Probably went straight to DVD. Oh, it, it's it's straight to the dollar ninety nine bin. It's they called have one uh, of those? It's oh, called uh, what the fuck? Fanatic, just starring John Travolta, and he finally fucking shaved his fucking weird plastic hair. He's got. I'm I'm applauding for him. He like had like the off. remember you know how Steven Seagal's <laughs> hair look right look Steven Seagal's hair right now. Jet black. Yeah. 
It doesn't even look natural. It's all, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like he took a Sharpie marker. Yeah, so John Travolta finally shaved uh, his head, but he wears this wig where it's like shaved on the sides, like super fucking high. Yeah. Nice little mullet. What? Yes. Now, this movie is directed by none other than world famous director Fred Durst from Limp Bizkit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. What did they pay him? Did they pay him? Bro, pay him I don't even know. I did seen, he do uh, it for the Nookie? He did it for the Nookie. So- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's probably how they got John Travolta to do it. Be like, look, it we don't have a lot though. in the budget. But we'll pay you with Nookie. <laughs> Fred Durst will do it for the Nookie. That's how they got him. <laughs> it's, it's not the first movie he's directed, though. It's no, not. you've seen others. There's other Fred Durst directed movies, and I can't remember what they were. His music videos? <laughs> no, those weren't. He didn't direct those. That's why they were good. Oh, he had to direct at least Jeff one. had a airbrush Limp Biscuit t-shirt i did i was in a limp biscuit man i think everyone my age the first the first two well the first three albums after chocolate starfish and hot dog flavored water it it, kind of went downhill for the band but (laughs) yeah the first two albums were no first three yeah because the first first album had uh fucking the george michael cover on it (laughs) gotta have you know what you know what i miss more than anything I miss when you, we were younger and new music came out, how excited and you, like, you know what I'm seeing? Like, like the excitement for a new album dropping or like for someone that like just released a single out of nowhere, you were like, oh, fuck. Like, I, I haven't felt that in like 10 years about music. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I miss the most. Like, I, I don't want to get you on mumble rap at no, all. No, well, no, no. I'm, but, not, I'm not saying that, but there has there really been anything that's come out where you're like, God, I, mean, I need that. Well, now you're in the age like an incubus CD or something. Why would you even come out with a full album anymore? Like all you can do, all you have to do is release a single on iTunes and then just sell the single, sell the shit out of it, and you're good. In all honesty, what what a lot of the bands are doing now is they'll, you know, you buy pre-order the album, they slowly put out each single until the actual release date. Yeah, like I don't know how that like Slipknot just did that on their last album, which is what I mean. Like I don't even hear about shit like. How about new, Tool? Then was it like thirteen years? Out. New yeah. Tool album? Yeah, I still want to listen to it. I you haven't yet. done it yet? No, I haven't. See, I see. I wonder the... how it's going to be received to new people because it's been thirteen years. It's right. It's but yeah, but diehards, one. diehards will like it. It's going to be number one. But like new kids growing up are going to be like, "What the fuck is this?" Right. Well, it's that's what I'm saying. You gotta, one. you gotta sell to your audience. You know what I mean? Like you gotta, you gotta grasp who's going to listen to that well, type yeah. of music. But it's it. It's going to beat out Taylor Swift for number one on the Billboard charts. Mark it down. Sean said it here. No, I, I read it. No, I read it. Someone else said it, not Sean. Yeah, no. They had the craziest music videos tool. Yeah, for sure. Well, very, their stage show. Very well, weird like, shit even back in the on. day, though, remember when we would just, I mean, we still do, but now when we get together and we listen to music, it's like songs that we like. You know, we were setting our songs st- that get you pumped. Well, it's because there's nothing that has come out right. lately. Where you put a new album on and just listen through it through and like, oh, shit, that was a good track. Or, you know? <laughs> what are you doing over there? He just pulled his finger out of his butt. That was my bottle opening. Proper 12. Better. Fucker. Get on ya. So Some guy last night we were hanging out with is going to uh, Ireland. This guy could barely fucking stand. You should have seen his stance. His stance was wide. And he was, you know, like when you get super drunk and you start, you have to go on your tippy toes because yep. you're like going to go forward. And yep. then you go on your tippy toes. You're like, oh, save that one. That's when I sit down. <laughs> but this I just guy, sit the fuck This down. guy and his girlfriend needed to sit for sure. They're both wobbling, bumping into each other. <laughs> <laughs> They're helping each other. Oh, shit. I get it. just came for a wet thing. That's some kind of party on the day the DJ. <laughs> and then they had the thing with the bush. Do you got anything to drink? <laughs> 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 My buddy's like, yeah, there's Tito's in there. Never had Tito's. Could you just drink it straight? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Dude, they were so fucking hammered. That's nuts. If you're Jeff, you do. I was jealous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, I want to be that drunk, but I got to drive, so... I kept my shit together last night. Really? I don't miss. Is that why days. you're going so hard with a bottle in your hand and a drink in front of you? Yeah. <laughs> why not? <laughs> He's a. <laughs> you know. I'll tell you, back wall fucker. 
fucking touch him. You're too I like close. That I could, like, You're too close. I can poke him and shit and fuck with him. All right, nah, choose. So, Jeff, <laughs> what were you saying of the uh, struggles of being a trucker? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was telling you guys during the week. So, you know, nice Labor Day weekend. Monday came around, had a barbecue. Well, Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> Tuesday's the day to go back to work. And I had like explosive diarrhea. <laughs> and as a truck driver, <laughs> those two don't go together. It was fucking death. <laughs> it was fucking death on wheels. I'm just driving like butt cheeks stay together. <laughs> Please, God, just Every let me bump. make it to the Oasis. And there's no like bathroom. So you get yeah. back to the pit to grab some more dirt or whatever the fuck you're taking. And there's a nice little fucking pats. You know, porta potty that saves potty. your life. Like, Jesus Christ. Well, like, all right, I I kind of know those struggles of having to drive an, like an hour on the expressway to get to work. Like, it does suck when like all of a sudden you light up a cigarette or something, and it, your oh, stomach yeah. just turns for the worst, and you're just like, oh my, oh god. It's, and <laughs> there's not a there's not an exit for like six miles, and you're like, and then and not every time. And then the you're like, you, brake lights come on, and you know, everyone like, slows down. You're like, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, please. They actually God. have. I think there's an app where it has like places I've pooped. <laughs> no, it That's has. Uh, <laughs> yes, and it has like a rating, so you can like pick like a five star place to shit. Oh, so yeah. that's like nice <laughs> so yeah. On Tuesday though, I don't <laughs> care. I'm going to one star. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a hole in the ground. That's I don't even fucking care. hilarious. I didn't have shoes on. I was risking I it. I bet you that dude Barefoot. that made that app is sitting in some fucking baller mansion right now, oh, like yeah, sitting bro. out on his pool. Like, yeah. Would He's you probably do? on his toilet kids? right now. <laughs> one, of the, <laughs> the app. one of the big pro wrestler guys does it. That's and, fucking hilarious. And he, he rode with a girl, one of the female wrestlers, and she's like, yeah, he has an <clears> app. <throat> so everywhere he poops, he puts, he puts down, I pooped here, like, marks it but it doesn't have the star rating yeah it's got star rating and everything wow jeez oh, sorry it's a big bottle so what you're <laughs> actually hearing all the background noise and stuff is because we got new microphones yeah they're picking up everything pretty proud like. of that yeah but the pretty proud is, you mean you're pretty broke from that <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I am but uh do we sound any better <laughs> probably not <laughs> But no, we uh, we're starting to, like <laughs> lipstick on a pig. We talked about that yeah. last oh, week. Oh, it's starting to, it's starting to feel more professional now. <laughs> yeah, more professional. Look as, at this garage. We got a margarita mixer, a bunch of bottles of Jameson, sixteen fucking oh. mongoose and dino bicycles. I'm sitting in a the lawn chair, two shitty ass dirt bikes, and a grom. And I'm Whoa. and I'm sitting in a large a lawn My chair. My dirt bike works. Yours doesn't. That doesn't change the fact that it's <laughs> shitty. <laughs> the Tetanus 5000 is not a work of art. <laughs> it will be, though. Yes. He's working on it. I got all the parts. It's got a... Pots. Pots. Pots? Put it together. I would like to actually, because the tires are shit, I would like to stud them. And then we can go on the lake with the uh, three-wheeler. We can. That would be fucking fun. Tony, I'll stud those tires for you. Yeah. They race on the lake. That's what I'm saying. And now that he has that dope-ass three-wheeler. You have a pit bike for the fucking race on the lake. (laughs) Dude, I'm fucking in. You know what, though? I'm actually really, really scared. It's weird because you think you're like, oh, man. Like He's like, oh, you want to drive the bike on on the lake? Like, fuck, dude. Like, you think like in a regular vehicle. But when you actually do it, it's like like driving on dirt the way the tires are set up with the yeah. spikes in them and shit See, driving on ice is exactly like driving on the road that's not it's my fucking fear crazy. though my fear is it's falling <laughs> me and a buddy is catching an ice fishing hole bro mm-hmm. so we were out on on a uh, grass lake road over there by the uh, bridge right where you would see blarney's island and uh we ended up having we were going to take the snowmobiles out and his dad took his which i was supposed to ride so, yeah, we were we were going down to the bar where he was at, and we were telling him, "Hey, fucker, we were supposed to take these out. We're going, we're going." You know <laughs> hey, what I mean? Fucker. Well, yeah, no, his dad was cool as fuck. Yeah. I mean, dude, we did some stupid shit with his dad, but anyway, so we're driving, and he's like, "Well, just hop on the back of mine." So I hop on the back of his, and we're driving down to this bar. He ain't fucking there, and we're like, "Great." So then we like go out, and we were thinking of hopping on the lake, go rip around and shit, see if they were out there. And there was some bite or some snowmobiles that were out there, and they were off their snowmobile with flashlights, 
looking at the ice. So, I don't know. We're fucking dumb. Let's go see what the fuck's going on. Oh, no. So, we start cruising <laughs> over the bridge, and we go down the little valley thing, and we hit the river, mm-hmm. and we're cruising where we're, like, only 25, 30 feet away from where they are, and boom, the fucking sled falls through the ice. And I'm on the back of it. Fuck, I'm, no. I'm waist deep. I don't fuck with that. On the sled, in the water, and he just hammers down. And it like climbs out and boom, ice breaks again. And then it climbs full throttle, out. full, dude, he was full throttle, throttle dude. the whole way. And it would suck is because we were kind of on an angle. He had to turn it yeah. to go back to land. Dude, I swear to God, I thought I was going underwater. Like I'm like standing up on the back and like trying to <laughs> lean forward. And it, we just kept breaking through, breaking through. And finally it hits. We catch the fucking bank and rip out of there. I'm soaking wet. All the ice is broken for like 10, 15 feet out. And that's at that bridge where it's a river. You go under there, the current just takes you straight down. Yeah. Like, I've never been on the ice since. (laughs) Well, they do it like close to shore and they actually like make a track. Yeah. I'm just still nervous about it. That's I know. I you know would be nervous too. I It'll fucking, you know. Dude, I got so that shit sick. will change you. 20 minute drive back to his house when I'm soaking wet in the winter doing 50 is insane i was like frostbrit like dude i was sick for like two weeks after that it was the worst fucking time ever oh dude that's anytime you go hey in, you made for a good story though right anytime yeah. you go in water <laughs> that fuck when is that cold anytime you hit water you're pretty much fucked yeah dude i was seriously that's probably one of the most yeah, anytime you see open been. water just fucking barrel down give her well yeah well it's even i didn't even know like we used to they used to jared uh our buddy jared his fucking well, his parents' place was like a fucking straight up compound. I mean, they had dirt two bikes. dirt bike tracks, and then he's got like this big fucking lake in his backyard. And they used to race uh, snowmobiles on the fucking lake. I'm like, what? He's like, like yeah, on just open water, right? Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. just, yeah, this is during the summertime. Yeah. He's like, yeah, you just Pretty don't stop. <laughs> <laughs> See, I wouldn't mind trying it, but then again, I'm not going to be the fucking beat off that sinks this dude's sled. Well, what like, they, you, you, you let off, bro. Yeah, well, I'm in the middle of the lake. I'm scared. Well, uh, what they do with that is they strip him down. Like, they're down to... Yeah, it's bare bones, yeah. Frame, and, and then they take the gas tank out and pull and put, a like, a gallon gas tank on there. Still. So it's enough to... If they go under, it's not going to fucking be a shitload of gas. And then the suspension is cranked all the way down. So if you ever pick them up, they look like the almost like a fucking mustache, how they're bowed. Mustache? A mustache. My... my had his and he was like oh, i'm gonna take this i've never taken this thing out in the winter <laughs> so he just wanted to just rip down the street and back he goes i couldn't keep the skis on the gr- <laughs> fucking ground it was just standing straight up the whole time just popping wheelies bro yeah well that's what that thing that's how they have it set that's up. the only reason why i have a dirt bike so i could pop wheelies i mean if it wasn't a piece of shit right now i i would be You'd pop a wheelie right now? Right now? Right fucking now. Let me show you how to pop a wheelie. How many oh, blocks yeah. are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Your wheelies is garbage, wheelies. son. I feel like you need to fucking put a roll cage and a wheelie bar on the ground. A roll cage? Yeah, like that one I showed you for the, for that's the undercase. A, that's like a side saver. You don't have a roll cage. Whatever. It's, a roll you cage would drop that motherfucker. Head. It was like a whole thing. It came with the fucking back pegs. Well, a wheelie wheelies. bar, yeah. Well, yeah. then you need to get a... Cause if you want to get good at riding wheelies, you have to get good at using the back brake. So if you're gonna do stand up wheelies, you gotta put a hand. Then throttle. you have to put a hand brake. Hand brake for the for the rear brake. Yeah. So do it. Nah. Bum. It's just a fuck around bike, man. You were pulling some good wheelies. I feel like up at Elkhart Lake. I did like one. Kayla did the best. Kayla did the best wheelie, <laughs> my lady. I handled it. That, that thing was twelve o'clock. I was pretty scared when I did, when it pulled up it, with all those other bikes around in the parking lot. I'm like, fuck. I love seeing like older guys, like, um, uh, my lady's dad. You know, his yeah. buddy comes out. Pff, dude's like fifty five. He's got this dirt bike out there, and he's we're just cruising through. All of a sudden, brr, fucking twelve o'clock, just rides a wheelie for like a mile straight. I'm like, Jesus Christ! Yeah, bro. Step your game up. Season vet. I'm no, well, you doing? I can pop a wheelie. I can't ride a wheelie. <laughs> yeah, these guys, There's a big fucking difference. Yeah, they ride it. Out. <laughs> they ride that shit out like it's no uh, problem. 
Yeah. Well, then you got to fuck with your whole bike because some people ride wheelies for so long that it loses oil. Yeah. So the engine blows up. So you have to like reroute your fucking bike. You know, you have to send fucking tubes so that oil gets fed into the back of the engine. So when you're riding a wheelie for so long, <laughs> it, the engine doesn't blow up. Uh, if you get to that status, then. Yeah, no, I never will be. I just like to pop them and set it down. Just pop everywhere you go, though. When you have a bike, everyone everyone wants it. That's the first no. thing they say. Pop a wheelie. wheelie. Yeah. yeah. Even if he's just cruising past you, I go to the gas like, station in the Grom. And some guy's like, he actually comes into the gas station. Whose bike is that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's mine. That thing's badass. <laughs> <laughs> so then I get my cigarettes oh, and shit, shit, and I walk outside, and he's like, pop a wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> first thing he fucking says. <laughs> of course was it the same guy that took me on my fucking trip to Narnia <laughs> might have been oh shit did you go to Narnia oh with that edible yeah I was good <laughs> I was good good uh, what does that mean as right I was explain it was like uh, I, I watched was. some shitty movies and I was like that was good I <laughs> I, I, I pour, it was like I was poured onto the couch <laughs> like I wasn't sitting, I wasn't sitting in the proper way to sit. Just like I was, you were like a wa- you poured. were like a fucking wax yeah. candle. It was basically I was <laughs> melted over. <laughs> yeah, I was basically like almost all back on the butt part of the thing, and my neck cranked up. Yeah, from the back of the. I couch. was exactly yeah, but I was leaning. I had to lean one way, and then I had to like flop it over. Well, it was like a totally different world. And then you're at that angle, and you can't get up because you right. locked yourself into so, that. <laughs> Like you're you're trying to sit up and you're like, it's eh. too much. I'm done. It's, you're, you gotta start from the neck and just inch your way. Did you get up. the munchies? No, I didn't. Really? Yeah, I was good. I broke. I didn't give a fuck. I ate a half a bag of Oreos, half a bag of Chips Ahoy. I think I might have gained weight on this challenge. Well, that's the problem. People give like weed and edibles a bad rap. The problem is people will take an edible and then they won't feel anything. So yeah, they'll take more. And more and more, and yeah. then pretty soon you're dialing nine one one. We got a first timer well, here. No. Well, that's what I did. I <laughs> I'm fucking dying. When I when I took the one I took, I looked at the clock. I'm like, okay, it's ten forty five. So by eleven thirty, I should be good. I should be feeling this. As soon as eleven thirty hit, bang! <laughs> I was there. <laughs> it was like a switch turned on. I was like, oh shit! Did you take the other half. I have half left, so I did a quarter and a quarter. Let's yeah, see. figured you'd bitch up. I I made the mistake of uh, <laughs> after I blacked out and passed out, <laughs> I woke up and ate more, and then it got naturally. <sighs> yeah, I took a knife and cut it into quarters. I was biting it. Frankie was Frankie's looks like it got <laughs> grabbed by a dog. It was just, <laughs> I was biting. It's just, jagged as fuck. I have a half perfectly sealed. I feel in like the it's bag. pretty good. <laughs> it's pretty good cut in half with the bites. I might have took a little bit more. Not bad. It was all right. It was all right. It was. Uh, Dude, we're. I wonder if we're picking up all this motorcycle back end. Maybe. Lots of bikes out. Das vroom yeah. vroom party style. Dude, it got cold quick. Yeah. Hoodie fuck weather. Fuck this weather, I love man. It. Yeah, I'm no, not fuck this shit. Wearing I want sweatpants that look like goddamn long johns. Long johns. <laughs> a lot of people don't know what long johns are. Long underwear. So there you go. Insulated underwear. Long <laughs> insulated. <laughs> Everyone's getting their last rides in, you know. Yeah, they're all. R.I.P. Paul Walker. Jesus, <laughs> dude, dude, hold on. Burning all that gas. Did out you guys there. see uh, Kevin Hart? Got into that big old wreck. Ooh, yeah. Dude, his car was. Fucked up. He's lucky to He's get out of there. super lucky. Because that dude. car was fucked. Yeah. Well, I guess supposedly it wasn't that bad looking. They cut the top off of it to get him out. But when you got to do that, it's a yeah, pretty bad Yeah, usually when wreck. you got a tuna can in the car, <laughs> there's some fucking shit going on. What do they call The Jaws of Life? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they did the Jaws of Life the fucking top off. Luckily, he's all right. Maybe that'll make him realize and reestablish and not do. I mean, I heard I don't even think he was driving. I'm not Resto sure. Mod. Was, but his buddy was driving. That's what Hey, they when you get it. your Supra, can I drive <laughs> Fuck no, bro. No one drives a no one drives a super but me. Dude. I feel like that was a perfect segue for me to ask you if I could drive your car. You know what I mean? That's the next thing we gotta get is cough filters for Frankie. Uh, so you can just push the button every time he's gonna. What do cough. I do? Do I cough in a bag or something? Or should I no, cough in my sweater? 
No, it's it's <laughs> right now. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> I got the black lung. Pop. This mic keeps falling, so I gotta rest it on my knee. <laughs> <laughs> Just the struggles, <laughs> the struggles, struggles. <laughs> First world problems ah. over here. Yeah, I mean, fuck. I don't have to walk five miles, you know, for a gallon of water. I would walk. Bring it back on my head, but miles. No, you wouldn't. Huh? That was Jeff's favorite song when he was growing up. When I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm gonna be. It's funny how like like songs get attached to movies. So every yeah. time I hear that song, I it's just think Benny of Benny and June. June. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like when yeah. you hear of like uh, Madden or NBA, mm-hmm. you know they have certain songs. You're just like fuck. Every time you hear it, you're like, I've heard this thing ten thousand yeah, times right. in the Madden loading screen. That Logic <laughs> song. Everybody, people. <laughs> <laughs> that logic song is burnt into my oh, 100%. head. 100%. See, see, I remember uh, back in the day, Midnight Club Street Racing. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum. Fucking boom. little John and East Side I Boys. I do remember that. <laughs> That's fucking... I was trying to think, and I couldn't think of <laughs> any. Bum, bum, bum. That's a pretty... Yeah. That is sucking hilarious. Yeah, there's well Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Well, oh, I turned my so music many great down songs on, TV for the, on video the second games. one especially. The Ace of Spades. <laughs> yeah. Ace of Spades. I remember Paparazzi by Exhibit. Remember yeah. that fucking song? <laughs> <laughs> I remember that's Exhibit's got your favorite song. Hmm? Alcoholic. Call it what you want to call it. I'm a fucking alcoholic. Bring it if you really want it. Ain't got to put no extras on it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and Jeff, Jeff would be listening to that in his car all the time. Be drinking beer in hand. Don't do what we How do. How dare you? <clears throat> I never drank beer in hand. Never. No, I just leave it on the table. and. Dump I remember it Jeff face. had girlfriends that would be screaming at him on the phone. <laughs> You're fucking hanging out with Frankie again. He'd be holding the phone with one hand, other hand on the steering wheel driving, and I'd be fucking shifting the car for him. Like I would, he didn't even have to say anything. Like he would just. It was push back the in the day in. before Bluetooth. Hey. So I had to hold my <laughs> phone way, up to my ear. That's how you learn how to drive stick. Left-handed. Yes, I just sir. want to get in a car that has right-hand drive. I would fucking be awesome at it. I don't know though. Actually, I think the gears are different. Like first gear is to inside. No, it's not. It's, it's not. It's still the same. Yep, still See, the same. I'd be, I'd be fine then. I used to drive like that for him all the time when he had his big. The, ass the hardest style. part would be that the turn signals and the wipers are yeah. opposite side. <laughs> yeah. So the turn signals are on the right hand side. Oh, that would be weird. Yeah, that would throw. So you me would off. just be turning your wipers. I don't use them anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got that Rainex. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't use. You don't turn use turn signals. signals or your wipers. I'm confused. I'm lost. Turn signals. Okay. <laughs> you need to start, man. Yeah. As a truck driver, Fuck there's off. a lot of fucking cunts out there. As a goddamn American. You know what I love about my car is like you could just tap it and it just, Skill it does time. it like three times. So like, you know what I mean? Just to go through lanes and then it just stops. You don't have to like click it on, change lane, click it off. Well, I would just hold it. If you just hold it down before you get to the click, I'll... Turn what? signals do that. Hmm? What? Yeah. Like, what? they're going to change lanes. <laughs> <laughs> no, because if you pull down, it goes left. If you push up, it down. goes right. So, anyway, the John Travolta Don't look movie. at me like that. He's looking at his phone. He's a cocksucker. There's no phones. Be a professional. 40, yeah, what are you checking? Your 40, fantasy team? 40 to 26. I dare you. Chiefs won. Ow. We're doing this on wow. Sunday, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a rough no, weekend. we're doing it on Saturday. We've predicted the future. <laughs> <laughs> Get your bets in now. If you want to listen to the podcast, oh, you, here. you missed out on those bets. You should, oh, you know, you should listen to us first. How dare you? Uh, I've been on a kick where I'm watching Back to the Future one, two, and three over and over and over again. You're watching Fast. You could just stop. Yesterday. You could That's, just stop after two. Yeah, the third. I don't third mind one. the third one. It's eh. bad. But do you know what? Do you know what the third one's good for? Hmm. Nana time. Nana. Oh, speaking of Nana time, watch joysticks. <laughs> <laughs> I got it through the first 20 minutes and I was <laughs> unconscious. I was watching uh, NCIS and I got to like uh, this one episode. I haven't, I've watched it 36 times and I haven't made it halfway through. You know how many times I've watched NCIS? Zero. Zero. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero. Frankie's a now big he's Mark just Harmon playing. fan. Huh? You're a big Mark Harmon fan. Yeah, bro. It's weird. He kind of reminds me of my dad. (laughs) (laughs) 
just in like what he, way he loves you but he's a dick oh all right i'm like, I'm not, I'm like <laughs> not physically because your dad don't look like <laughs> no no not no yeah i just mean his personality yeah. like my dad, like you know, he loves you so much, but he just doesn't mind being a dick to you. Your, you know? dad, your dad has the look of a guy who was an extra in Goodfellas. Oh, dude, for That's sure. That's the best way to describe. He's the most your dad. mafia Italian Polak with no <laughs> Italian in him there is. Hair slicked back. Your dad looks a hundred percent Italian. It is a hundred percent Polish. Yes, he's so dark skinned. So he's got that gray hair just slicked I'm telling back. You, Let me go get the papers. Get the papers. His, hey, his name was changed in witness protection a long time ago. Oh, <laughs> Definitely not Polish. Yeah, he was you know <laughs> Razanari or some bullshit. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> just hiding out and around yeah. like. I just feel like though, yeah, their personalities. How like. I don't know. Like he thinks all the time, it, it's hilarious. Like he says stuff, and he's just coming off as like the biggest jerk. And you're just like, wow, what an asshole! And he just thinks it's hilarious. That's just his humor. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's a style. Yeah. Like I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll talk to you later. Blah blah blah. blah. You're not gonna wear that, right? You know, you look super fat. <laughs> yeah. Like that's not a joke. Like you're just saying real things. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, thanks. I I know I look fat. But. Right. Yeah, I'm still fat, man. Thanks. All right. Well, it's see you later. Black dad, it's slimming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dirty Balkan. I have been, bro. I wanted to get to solid two twenty. Bruh. I wanted muscle though. This is not. I don't have the muscle. To we have to build that. muscle by actually working out. <laughs> well, I've been working really good on my diet all week. You know, muscle then, doesn't turn into fat, or uh, fat doesn't turn into muscle. Is that true? Yeah, you have to lose fat and build muscle. Jesus Christ. Oh, really? Didn't you go to fucking school for this? I did. Teacher yeah. also gave me Once the answer again, key. He still thinks the microwave's nuclear and it's fucking killing your food. <laughs> Bro, don't let it destroy the nutrients in your food. It doesn't. It just heats up the water by vibrating it, and that's how your food is heated. And it does nothing to your food. Yeah. We've been over this 12 fucking times. <laughs> Even when you were in school. Right <laughs> when you were in school your teacher was an idiot <laughs> oh you got a degree <laughs> let's see that fucking degree i've had a lot well, the of problem awesome is teachers. especially like in the fitness or food like everything's constantly changing so it's like some someone could graduate from well <laughs> even like a degree school what are they gonna do they gonna even like degree? technology so you can get a degree and in fucking yeah. five years, your degree is worthless because 100%. they came out with a bunch of other fucking shit. Right. And all it is is people that learn these things that are teaching you, like, they're no different. I mean, I hate the fact that everyone looks at, like, people like they're, the celebrities don't have real life shit. And, like, like they're just like you and me. No one's fucking, I mean, it drives me nuts. Well, the big thing everyone was making fun of. Remember when Tom Cruise did that, like, interview? He walked over to the guy and the guy squirted him with water. Yeah, I think everyone was like, "Look at Tom Cruise, fucking lose his shit." I watched it; like, I felt like he kept his shit together pretty fucking good. Yeah, right. Like, like some guy just calls him over to do an interview and sprays him in the fucking face with water I'd out of pissed. the microphone. Right, and he's all he did was like grab the guy and he's like, "You're a jerk." You know that? You are a jerk. Right. Um, I, I came like, over here to do an interview, fuck, dude, and you are a jerk. But all over TMZ was just Tom Cruise loses his shit, blah blah blah, and I'm like, Click he really bait. didn't. <laughs> Clickbait, bro. Yeah. I know they got you to watch it. When he got on the couch, though, he lost. His but shit. when I watched it, I was like, man, he handled that actually pretty fucking well. I can fly. I can fly. Oh boy, that's losing your shit. I'm fuck. Sick. Save the world two times, no three times. Save the world from aliens two times. No, three times. The new Top Gun, I'm going to see it. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm going to see it too. I'm going to see it. Yeah. I want to see the new Zombie Land when it comes out. Yeah. Zombies. I'm done to see that. And see, I'm a professional. My phone is fucking blowing up and not even paying attention to it. I was checking what time it was. Too. My phone's not blowing up because I'm not on a fantasy football team. <laughs> Loser. Uh, is he the, actually he might be how the winner stress, yeah. out of his no. how comfortable do I look you know like what he's over here being sweating being a two time fantasy Tyreek football Hill. Chance, champion being a two time football oh we'll call you Mr. Champion. Two Time then like hey, fucking Dr. Disrespect Frankie Two Belts you know what though that's almost $5,000 I put in my pocket from those two championships what can you say I didn't spend money boom. to get into it yeah boom so no money no money I'll drop paid. a couple There's hundred no money bucks lost. 
I'll drop a couple hundred bucks to have fun for 16 weeks. 16 I just like to weeks. watch the games. I like to so enjoy the games for what they are. I do. With no emotional attachment, except for know. my bears. Once sports gambling is legal next year, oh, watch out. Mitch is so bad that watch I lost out. my emotional attachment to the bears. Stop it. I'll, I'm Every time he throws distance. a pick, I'm just like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Cutler. Cutler. I went from Cutler to Mitch. I'm like, I'm used to this shit. Right. Well, no, no. We went from, <laughs> I've been cu- training we went from Cutler to life. Glennon. Oh, God. <laughs> He looks oh, so that bad on Hard Knocks. That beautiful neck. I wish Hard Knocks would have went a little bit longer Best just neck to in see the, the Antonio Brown destruction. If it would have just went it one week longer, <laughs> right? It was the setup. It was the plan. I know, the but whole I still wanted to time. watch it on Hard Knocks. No matter what team he got traded to, he was getting kicked off that team. Think so? Just like he wanted the Patriots. He wanted to go to the Patriots. But how do you? And Pittsburgh would not trade him to the Patriots. Well, because he's one of the best receivers of all time, and they got to play he, him in the playoffs. And he needs a championship. And that's a lot he of needs P's a ring. getting championship. He knows he'll get one there, dude. If you went and looked, just just take a second and think about their receiving core: Antonio Brown, Josh Gordon, <sighs> Julian Bro. Edelman. Julian Edelman. Just imagine all the weed. In that they also room. have. Nikhil Henry, who's an awesome young receiver, that'll be a nice addition. They do have guys like Sony Michelle and fucking White. That team stacked you, for a champion. It doesn't matter. I'm All you need's Tom Belichick Brady. and Tom Brady. That I tried team, to steal though, his jizz one time. Watch. <laughs> Antonio Brown doesn't have movie an reference. outburst the rest of the oh, season. Will. Have you ever seen He's the movie not Get Out? Any trouble? Have you ever seen the movie Get Out? Yeah. Yeah. You know when the one dude walks up to his homie and he goes to shake his hand and he's all reformed and the guy like he goes to put a fist out. <laughs> yeah. They he had goes a to meme give him the, Hi. Of Antonio Brown walking up to him and it turns around and it says Josh Gordon. I was fucking dying laughing. This is mid edible too. I couldn't stop laughing. I can't believe the kid. Patriots still have Josh Gordon the way they Well they had the rights to because them. you know why is because they know how good he is on the field. Let him smoke weed, fuck man. <laughs> I'm a, I'm 100 percent with you. I say it. in 2025, the, the like NFL it's going to be legal it. eventually yeah. everywhere, Another even federally. Years, yeah. yeah, and 200%. these guys are all fucking addicted to prescription pills, right. And That's all this shit. Who cares if some fucking NFL player wants to smoke a joint? <clears throat> fuck it. Fuck yeah. it. I Pick agree. something out in the room and I'll fuck it for you. Well, what's fucked up is like, okay, you can't really test for for drugs, right? Yeah. I mean, you can. can. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> if, yeah. if I'm... Call a drug test. But if I am... So if I were to smoke weed, like let's say there's a holiday weekend, Labor Day, I want to take an edible. Yeah. I could get drug tests a month from now and get fired from a job because I pop positive. That's uh, true. Yeah. Well, I didn't smoke. Well, you know what's I'm not really high cool? at work. I was high a month they, ago. They need to do it where it's the level of the amount. That's I understand if system. I'm drunk at work. Yeah. See, they can test for that. Like if you're driving a car, well, you I don't can know test if, if I am drunk or not. The first state to do this is Denver, and they legalize the law. Denver. Denver, where, Colorado. Whatever. Denver's a city. Yeah, that place. It's not the state of Denver. <laughs> why, do you, why do you take me off my train of thought? I was rolling. So Colorado toot, toot. went ahead and they issued a law where no yeah, it's one, workers' rights. Yeah, it's a no workers one could be law. fired for failing a test for marijuana. So if that's that, how it should be. Right. If that is implemented everywhere, well, then Sean gave us the finger. He's got a point. But they have. <laughs> it's. <laughs> he's got a point to me. It's. But if you're using on the job, you're going to get shit canned. I understand that. But if I want to smoke a joint two weeks ago. I, I understand that, too. Like, that's on, fucked up. On your free time, you should be able to do whatever the fuck you want. But if I'm here but that's a, here. most Most employers, well, I shouldn't say most because I don't really know. But some employers, if they want to get rid of you. They'll well, drug test you. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the right. Like, but if they, they, they the don't, right they service. won't drug test you. Yeah. They have the right to employ whoever they want. Like, my last employer was like, yeah, we're not drug testing fucking Weissmuller because we know he's failing. <laughs> yeah, but what's the funniest thing? <laughs> but I didn't even smoke. Right. You never smoked. My eyes you were just, just bloodshot all the fucking every right, morning. Right, because you're hungover from I'm being tired. drunk the night before. My eyes don't tired. get right for like, I got to be up for like two or three hours. And then they finally like, 
open up. I don't think your eyes ever get right, to be honest with you. <laughs> and this is this is an odd podcast because this is the first one you've ever done without your sunglasses on. I thought we weren't going to talk about it. It's, I've been fucking with Sean behind this mic thing, popping my eyes up, looking at him. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm watching you do this, and I'm just like, man, I really wish he had his sunglasses on right now. It does, Jesus. Because then, he, then he'd be invisible. Yeah, you wouldn't even <laughs> see me. I'm in, don't burn me! He's got a torch in his hand, and he just... This is an inside-out sweater. It goes up in flames very easily. Inside-out? Yeah, it's reversible. Did you buy that in bulk as well? Nope. You didn't buy 35 of those? That was super loud. <laughs> that was Jeff lighting a cigarette, folks. With a torch? With a torch. And with that being said, cigarette smoking is bad, kids. Don't, Don't do, do it. it. It should be illegal. It really should. I'm quitting again. I keep saying that. And you'll Quit start it. right back up at a I different went, time. I went it's 11 hard. months last I, I, night. God, it's hard. I don't know how you can quit smoking and not quit Culver's. <laughs> what do you mean? I've been at Culver's huh? all week. Huh? <laughs> It's so hard to quit smoking, dude. Culver's dude. is so And you delicious. quit smoking for like a year. Yeah. But you see that billboard with that double butter burger. How do you think like, I gained oh, so shit. much weight? When I quit smoking, I probably put on like 25, 30 pounds. Yeah. Culver's stocks went through the roof. Yeah. yeah. Cheese curds, double butter burgers. They yeah. have the best cheese curds. Yeah, but it's not like a regular size order of cheese curds. It's a family size order no, of cheese curds. Jeff gets the family and... side, the which family. is an entire take home fucking bucket i just get it literally regular. says in the name this is for a family yeah and jeff and eats like, it by yeah, himself right. yeah but that's <laughs> six a family of six <laughs> but that's all jeff eats though then yeah if you know i get a burger too every now and then though you just do the curds because the curds oh, yeah. are so fucking good i've been to the state fair wisconsin state fair everyone's like the cheese curds are amazing i'm like man this shit shit trash See, I don't like these curds. Culver's I like the cr- and five guys. I don't know what it tonight. is. It's got to be the breading because mm-hmm. it's like so crunchy. Yeah. I'm in, bro. I'm in. Yeah. What? I, uh, Culver's curds. I'm Culver's, in. Cur- Culver's curds are delicious. And you guys are making fun of me for it. You guys can fuck yeah, off. But we use it as a like treat to go to Culver's. A treat. You use it I've been as good a all week. form I'm of get nutrition. A treat. You know what? I get a treat. I go to Dairy Queen. As in, we drive to Culver's once. We don't go every fall. We don't really have a Culver's out there. Yeah, we have so. to go to Lake Geneva. Yeah, I was going to say, do you guys also have a nice hour lunch where I, man, I went to Super Dogs the other week. I went to Portillo's. <laughs> I don't take a lunch. See? Fuck that. I have two breaks. My I, lunch is me my shitting my brains out on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have two 20-minute breaks. First one's Fuck at 9 a.m. Don't you work like 12-hour days? Is that even fucking... First man. one's at 9 a.m. Second one's at 1. You at only get two one. breaks? Yep, two 20s. I feel like if OSHA's listening, they're laboring. Bro, I you. would rather have that. My what? day gets done so fucking fast. What can you do in 20 minutes? Drive home, eat, go back. My girlfriend will tell you what I can do in 20 minutes. Twice. 20 seconds. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with the other 19 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and 30 seconds of me trying to take my pants off. And, and <laughs> Goddamn skinny jeans. <laughs> How dare you? I don't wear skinny jeans. Yeah, you're just so fat they became skinny jeans. Mm-hmm. He's the smallest out of both all of us. So I know. He's like 177 pounds. I'm down, I'm down three pounds, guys, for the weight gun. loss challenge. I'm actually down three pounds myself. I'm scared to weigh myself. So I started at 180. And I got, I got 100 pounds on you. I was 281. Frankie? I was trying to think of it. 228. But he was hanging onto the handrail like Homer Simpson's gut in the episode where he's trying to gain weight. <laughs> well, that's what I, that's what he's I like, was. oh, not too bad. He's like, oh, fuck, my gut's on the handrail. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I weighed myself up. again, and I was 230. And then when I didn't eat all week and shit, I was down to like 225. So I'm just getting my diet in order quick. And then I'm 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 going to work out next week. Well, that's why I was telling you. I'm going to pump the iron. Yeah, when we were, wherever the fuck we were going. Jeff's taking just diarrhea pills. It's a real conflict of work and weight loss. Yeah, I mean, that's what I do. I just shit my brains out. I lost five pounds this week. (laughs) (laughs) 
I think I lost five pounds on Tuesday, and yeah. then I gained two back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you I had a flush out week this week. Tuesday was rough for everybody. Jeff's going to be the first one out of us. Must have been something depends. in those burgers that I made on fucking Monday. Must have. I'm glad. I had the fried chicken on the chicken. I had the rest of that on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> I've been. In, I ate fairly well this week. I'm pretty proud of that. That's good. You just got to get away from this. You're a snacker. I'm this. I'm the. No, I'm the sugar guy. I'm the sugar candy. Get off! I have to make sugar. I call you sugar bear. The worst sugar bear. The worst. <laughs> the worst thing I ate. Hey, this, sugar. In all honesty, the worst thing I ate this week was the Lou Malnati's on Thursday. I know, but I couldn't resist. That's see, I was so fucking tired on Thursday, and I had to get up early as fuck on Friday to go to work. I'm pretty sure that's when I was. T- <laughs> <laughs> that's when I was two thirty after lose. But. Frankie's like, I'm ordering Lou Malnati's. I'm like, I'm in. I gotta find some way to get there. So I'm already ba- I'm pizza. already in basketball shorts, comfortable getting ready to watch the game. I'm in Jeff's basketball like, shorts right now. Jeff calls me. He's like, We're going to Frankie's. I go, What do you mean we're going to Frankie's? He's like, I'm on my way to pick you up right now. I'm like, No. Then he said he's got Lou's. I'm like, Okay, I'm in. I'm in. That's all I get them to come over. I got a problem with Lou's. This mic's going to fall, guys. I want to do a shot. Hold Here, it. hand me the bottle. I'll pour, pour it down it your in throat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you should uh, you should record this for the podcast and post it. Me pouring a shot down this fucker's throat on air. You got your phone right next to you, bud. I can't pour a shot can't, and film dude, it. His fucking his uh, fantasy team's in. going. Hand me that. Yeah. <laughs> Be, gent- right. be gentle. That's all I ask. I'll all throw right. it up on my Snapchatty. Snapchatty. Here all we right. go. All right. All right. There we are. Okay. The boys Careful. pouring Should shots. I put my mouth on it? Oh, God. I feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. fucking teamwork. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. See? Jeebus. Allah. That's what best friends do. <laughs> 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 Not new. I, I hope the new mic. I hope the new mic sound wonderful. But Jeff can't keep his. It just. We got these new mics for you guys, the listeners. Yeah. Well, we hope you appreciate it. To make us sound silky smooth. Uh, now Jeff's doing his uh, Freddie Mercury impression right now. <laughs> just, <laughs> I just got the stand. <laughs> he's just holding the stand. <laughs> That's so loud on the stand. What is it? I'm sorry. You can hear everything that you're cranking on. Yeah, I don't know what you're cranking on. I'm turning knobs. Turning knobs. All right, knobs are done. <laughs> Jesus, just a little with technical difficulties here. Yeah, little malfunction. Yeah, a, a, a vocal difficulties too, huh? Yeah, bro. I'm fucked up. Some parts I'm not gonna. I told you. I'm and you didn't still, even take that that edible yet. I'm nervous. I haven't eaten anything. Today. Yeah, I wouldn't do that if you're gonna drive home. I still feel fucked up. From yesterday, you might be uh, fucked up from the. Just take the edible, fall into my leather couch, and we'll watch football the rest of the day. I'm totally down with that. Let's do it. It sounds like a plan. I want to order food. We can do that too. You know what is the best food for for Sunday football? What do you think? Lose was pretty good. What's better than that? What do you guys think? Nothing. Nothing's better than lose for Sunday. No, nothing's better than pizza Pizza, and pizza for football. Well, I mean, you can have your you can, assortment of chips. Yeah. What about wings? A lot wings. of people like wings. I like wingies. I wingies, do wingies. Little wing. Tommy likes wings. I just like to fill up a plate full of pizza. Fucking have it. Right. Well, see, I don't like the when people get like Domino's or pizza. No, I don't like those. You, you gotta have a, a good. They pizza. fell off. Like lose, I'm pizza. in. Or uh, I don't know. I wonder what other people's favorites are. Like, I love Antioch Pizza Shop, so. Yeah. Well, we can get sugar fries from down the street. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like all the sugars on the edibles is eating my tummy away right now. You probably hear it growling on Mike. No, we, uh, when I, when we do the big football spreads, like, we like doing the cheese dip. Ooh, queso dip, cheese the queso dip. dip. The queso dip. Jeff's lady. The queso dick. My lady. She, she actually makes a pretty good queso She dip. does, just like lie. chilies. It's fucking amazing. She also makes that uh, buffalo chicken dip, too. That's mm. pretty good, too. Buffalo chicken dip or go fuck your mother. She's an Italian, yeah, Italian making, chef. Which is odd to me. Oh, I'm oh, still yet to... Why is she so good at making dips? <laughs> <laughs> I'm yet to have her spaghetti... I don't know if I'd like it. I don't like spaghetti. Really? Nah, not a fan. 
You're it's not like weird. my go-to. I, I love it. I would, I would rather have oh, like Alfredo, yeah, Alfredo I'm, sauce with fettuccine noodles. I'm not a over I'm, spaghetti. Honestly, I'm not a uh, Alfredo sauce guy. I don't, I don't mind it. Like it's good on the side with I, like I pork chops. Ooh, I don't know. It's maybe Pounded the pork noodles chops that are breaded. Spaghetti, I'm not a fan. I'm just, I just don't do the. Uh, I just can't do the fucking Alfredo. It destroys my gut. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather have Miracle Whip. <laughs> I'd rather put Miracle Whip on my noodles. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, <laughs> I had a sneeze. Oh. For Jeff, for Frankie, for me, Sean. Thanks. Stop for sending me Manny's videos. You deserved it. <laughs> may all your dreams come true. And may all your good ones be wet. We love you. Next week. Peace.